Still in the news, stakeholders have dismissed claims by the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, that the sexual harassment bill being sponsored by the Deputy President of the Senate, Senator Ovie Omoagege, is targeted at university lecturers. However, the National President of ASU, Professor Abiodun Oguyemi, had described the bill as vindictive and an attempt at eroding law and order in the university community. In response, gender rights advocates say that the bill is timely, will protect vulnerable students and reduce sexual harassment in tertiary institutions, which have become a menace. They insist that ASU has gotten the intent of the bill wrong and is placing itself on the wrong side of history. We are against the scope, we are against stigmatization, and we are against erosion of university autonomy and tradition. If we start narrowing down the process of lawmaking, to targeting individuals. It means that we are violating the ethics of, uh, of, of uh, making bills, uh, which we pass into laws. Uh, all over the world, there is this standard uh, position that you don't make laws to target specific groups or individuals. So in this instance, we see this as targeting individuals rather than addressing issues that are commonplace. The reason behind uh, criminalizing that this essential harassment in a tertiary education is because there is a relationship of authority, dependency, and trust that is construed to exist between an educator and a student in an institution. And this is so because the educator is directly or indirectly involved in the full-time or part-time academic training, teaching, advising, supervision, and education of the student. Or the educator has direct or indirect academic or non-academic authority over the student. The academic community have for a long time carried on with so much impunity. A lecturer can tell a student, let's see how you will graduate. And I can assure you that student will not graduate. There's so many cases. And Prof, except he wants to tell us he, ha he hasn't been in the university system, but the truth is, these things do happen. It has grown beyond the capacity and the morality of our system to handle these issues. And so you see kids, 18 years old, 19 years old, vulnerable, they come into school, and you have the beck and call of, of, of a lecturer. As stigmatizing as this might appear, but our system has no choice than to take the bulls by the horn. Asu is standing on the wrong side of history. And it's very unfortunate because ASO, it's um, uh, one of the most progressive groups that we have had in the country. I, I don't think the law is suspecting anyone. The law is clear in its definition about who the law is targeting. The law is meant to protect the dignity of the school. It's to protect the integrity of the school system. You know, if you look at the way the conversation around sexual harassment is going. Very soon, everybody's certificates will be questioned.